Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, many a singer and songwriter have focused on the idea of love gone wrong. So how do you stay on track when this sort of thing happens in real time? Well, you can sit down with your loved one and formulate something called a Relationship Bill of Rights. And Latifa Hameen, author and creator of Healthy Positive Choices Agency, has tips. Good morning. Good morning. So seriously, we're going to sit down and formulate a Bill of Rights with the people we have relationships with. Yes. Tell me about it. Okay, well, we... When we talk about the Bill of Rights, we talk about what you have a right to do yourself. You have a right to be heard in your relationship. You have a right to be respected. You have a right to be treated well. You have a right to, to your own thoughts. And so this can be in any relationship with your children, with a spouse, with a parent. Um, at what point in time does this need to happen in a relationship? Does everyone need one? Yes, yes. This needs to happen, I would say immediately, it's like setting your boundaries mm -hmm. and knowing, okay, this is what we're going to do here. And I think that the more you communicate this information, the better your relationship will be. Because you know, coming out or going in, what your rights are or what you feel that you want to communicate with the person. So is this a selfish thing? Can I be like, I want in my Bill of Rights that I have a right to take a nap every Sunday <laughs> at noon. What sort of rights are we talking about here? We're talking about relationship right, okay. rights. In your relationship with your significant other or like you said, with your children, with your spouse, with your friends, with your relatives, you can establish that Bill of Rights with whomever you're having a relationship with. And give so, me some tips for doing that. Okay. I would say if you're having a relationship with someone, you would say, okay, you do not want to cross certain boundaries with a person. Because when you cross boundaries, then that is going to have, you're going to have another problem when you decide to cross boundaries with a person. They're called consequences. Yes, right. you're going to have consequences when you cross boundaries. Mm -hmm. So that's some of the things. And that you want to know kind of where you stand. If you communicate what you're doing and how you're doing it in terms of a relationship, I think that that opens up that communication process when you're, when you're with someone or anyone that you're with. And I think that once you communicate and you know what your expectations are, then you can go accordingly without crossing over and to boundaries or crossing boundaries with other people. So how do you do this without making it seem awkward? So my husband and I have been married 13 years, and if okay. I went home today and I said, baby, I think we need a relationship bill of rights. <laughs> you know, how do, how do I do this without making it seem, you know, little like I've got issues, <laughs> right? Because I have issues, but I'm just talking about in terms of, you know, creating a bill of rights. Well, I think that I would, nat I would naturally say we need a bill of rights. I would talk, and as I'm talking, I would establish certain mm -hmm. parameters or certain boundaries, or if you cross certain boundaries, I would communicate that mm -hmm. as well. Got it. And I wouldn't exactly say I'm going to set this up. We're writing it down <laughs> in calligraphy, and we're both going to sign it at the bottom. But uh, what I'm hearing you keep saying is so important. It's all about communication. Yes. And really being very clear about what your expectations are. But yes. if I lay out my expectations, then I also have to play a part in this, right? Yes. What, what's my role in this Bill of Rights? Well, I think you have a responsibility to adhere mm -hmm. to what you all have agreed upon. Because I think the two most misconceptions in a relationship is expectations and communication. Mm -hmm. And I think if you have those two, then you will know if you have certain expectations, you have to communicate those expectations mm -hmm. because I can't read your mind. And that's what sometimes people or in relationship they say, you know what mm -hmm. you should have done. You know what I expected, but you don't know unless someone communicates with you what the expectations are. I would almost say one of the things I put in my Bill of Rights that I'd expect of my husband is that very thing, communicate with me a little bit more. I think men have a, a, a difficult time communicating their thoughts and feelings, yes. and sometimes you need that to be able to make something like this Bill of Rights work That's out, right? right? That, absolutely.
Oh, Absolutely. goodness. Well, me and Ryan have some stuff to talk about when I get home. <laughs> uh, Latif has three books available on Amazon.com, including Suffering and Healing, Suffering in Silence, and a workbook written especially for teens and young adults. We'll have this info on our website at thebroadcasttv.com. All right, stay here with us. We've got more broadcasts coming your way.